This video gives a broad overview of the Materials Project main page. There are a lot of things on this page, so we'll try and walk through the different components one by one. At the top is the menu bar. One of the main things in the menu bar is the list of apps. These are all the tools for getting materials data or analyzing that data that are present on Materials Project. The same list of apps is shown visually across this top bar here as well, so you can use that to switch between the different apps. We'll cover details of the different apps in other videos. Other options on the menu bar include About, which tells you information about the project. For example, you can see how to cite materials project, or you can get details about our computational infrastructure. So for example, if I click Infrastructure, there's a visual flow diagram about how everything works. And there's also links to our open source codes, which you can use in your research as well. In addition, there's documentation for all the different apps. So if you have a question about how to do something or where something comes from, one of the first places to look is the documentation. We have dedicated documentation for our REST API, which is how to access the data programmatically rather than by clicking around on the website. Finally, the last menu item is the dashboard. The dashboard contains all your user-specific settings. For example, you can set which app you'd like to see by default when you log into the page. Going back to the home page, the main area which is over here, is app specific and depends on the type of different analysis that you're doing depending on which app you're in. Towards the bottom are other links and all the way at the bottom are again the links to the open source codes that are used to power materials project.